Welcome back to our channel. It's been a really long time. Well, there's reason for that. Yeah, two we, of them, actually. Yeah, two big, small reasons. <laughs> yeah, so we've been really occupied with our babies. You know, um, I had a baby. I had a baby. And they both had babies of mine. Jimmy's next. <laughs> uh, so no, they, they were my babies. If he was a seahorse, he definitely could have all of our babies. Who's next? Yeah, I, I'm glad it is the way it is, you know? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, they keep us busy. They're like, we're basically breaking up little wrestling matches every day. And um, if we're around each other and yeah, try to film or anything or kiss or anything, they're just like right there. Right so. there. And they're pretty gangster. They don't realize how gangster oh my our gosh. babies are. You know? What they, is up with that? You know, they, they will come up to you and go. They got oh constant room service. Yeah, they do. That's for sure. They've got, um, I don't know, those two are very awesome. There's a lot of benefits to parenting as a trio, for sure. I agree. So it was really different when we first started without kids. And now with kids... It's more challenging, but we're getting a hand. Yeah, we were a lot more active on TikTok. We were mm -hmm. more active on 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 YouTube, um, and now with this, we're trying to be more active. And the idea uh, with this platform and this video is to you know get um, questions from you guys. If you guys have any questions about how polyamorous works or we always get a lot mm -hmm. of questions as polyamory. So you guys can comment yours. What is one of the biggest questions we get asked? I think a big one is like, how do we deal with jealousy? Right. You know, that's I like that's always, it's always a big question, I think, is how we deal with jealousy. I just don't let it affect me. That's how I deal with it. Well, Summer always mentions <laughs> compersion, which is a big play in our relationship. Yeah, compersion. Do you define compersion from polyam? The, the official polyam throuple. What does poly? What does compersion mean to you guys? To me, it's like I'm happy, like when you guys are kissing or when I, when you're like, oh, we're, we're over here, we're gonna go eat. I'm, it makes me happy knowing that you guys are gonna go eat. That's you really know? nice. It's the opposite of jealousy. So when you feel that negative feeling when somebody else is enjoying a beautiful thing. It's completely the opposite. You feel really happy. I actually know when Jimmy and Summer are making out in the living room, I know we're going to have a good day, and it makes me really happy. And for me, it's important that our kids see our affection and our love for each other because it's just going to grow with them, and it's going to be an example of how we want to be treated it's when true. we're older. I think I have something in my eye. Just slap it. <laughs> Just go like that. <coughs> so another, another uh, thing that we get a lot is, you know, like, how do we fight? You know, because there's three of us, right? So it's like... Like fight in yeah. the bedroom? Or no, like, no, like fight, fight like, like, like arguments we have and arguments. stuff. Yeah. And that's, a, that's a another question that we get a lot. I think that um, the answer to that is that, yeah, sometimes depending on the topic, we get on each other's sides and sometimes we're on the other side by ourselves but uh we usually come to the conclusion that that you know all of us have to be pretty much equal right and and i don't know like what do you think yeah i think the more that we communicate <clears throat> it's funny because when we're like bored we like th we like and get stagnant like and i think that happens in any relationship we like kind of start to like i don't know argue more but it's like because we're not communicating as much and then like when there's chaotic things happening like having babies or like like that's why you'll see us more online is because i think like we thrive from chaos so yeah. if we bring more chaos to our life you'll see more of us live we'll be able to, like i don't know we're more successful in a chaotic environment it's so weird like not and not just successful like your general term of success but like successful in our relationship like our communications we're on our a game with it when we have a chaotic life it's so weird it's hard to explain i think too that now that you know we've been parents for a little bit we're trying to like settle down with everything else that's going around us and i think that we're getting the hang of it now yeah you and know, it took two years three years hurricanes three so three mm -hmm. years and i think we're finally getting into a rhythm again that it's going to take us forward and I see us speeding up and things, you know? And we've had a chance to like 
talk to some other polyamorous people, but I think something we would love to like reach out and talk to is also maybe some polyamorous, polyamorous parents, um, yeah. other polyamorous parents, like comment your experience and, or like maybe be a part of a future podcast, like come and talk to, to us because like, yeah, there's a lot of like, it. there's a lot of people. Yeah. That just like different tips and things that you guys would like to offer. I think uh, the more we talk about it, the more we get to learn just different ways from each other's experiences. And I mean, every dynamic is different, but generalizing everything, I think we're all trying to do a good thing here. And the more people that know about polyamory and maybe the more girls understand the concept of it, they'll be more open to um, opening up this type of relationship with their partner. You know, because in the long run, like we're in the economy now that you can't survive with just a couple, you know, you need more people behind you because it's really tough out there. So, I mean, imagine this, you know, normally people get together so that under one household so that they can cut down on costs, right? So now imagine if you have three, right? So now it's three people battling against life and growing stuff and acquiring things, you know? So I think that Everybody in, in like in the future will probably be some type of polyamorous, not because they want to, but because they have to. I don't think everybody, but I get what you're well, saying. Well, at least like a high percentage, like 90% of the people out there, that's by my right. estimate. That's Jimmy's future world. That's the dream for Jimmy. But I guess it wouldn't be because if everybody has a lot of people, then there's less people for everyone. Yeah, but there's a lot of people that, uh -huh. sure, it always ends up being like, you know, it's weird because... Trust, it, trust me. It's <laughs> it always works out. <laughs> it always works out forever. Fair. Oh. <laughs> For the polygam that us. One thing I do have to say is some constructive criticism. We can't interrupt each other. Oh, you want to start fighting? It's important. On live? It's important. Just kidding. Are we interrupting Don't each other? Don't interrupt me. They interrupt you? <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't think I was interrupting. <laughs> and then she interrupted you, and like we just gotta not do that. All right, in, All right, in, in, break. Tessa's <laughs> just not gonna talk anymore. She got butt hurt. <laughs> She's gonna sit there and smile. No, she has the mic now. I just want to make sure I don't interrupt anyone. anyone now. <laughs> Summer just mic. laughed over Chacha's talking. So we're, we're trying to get the hang of everything, guys. <laughs> there was crickets in the other room. Oh, my God. My eye is like, what's going on? I think, okay, we should read some of our comments from our last post because a lot of people commented back. Oh, Summer has a, a page. Cool. Well, our... Oh, the Polyam. Polyam uh, page, yeah. So um, I put, would you take the risk to explore love beyond limits? Share your thoughts on polyamory and the beauty of multiple connections. 90% of the people out there. Below, right? So, 90%. So, somebody responded, I've learned it's not for everyone. I also have learned, just like any relationship, you have to have open communication and an understanding with all partners involved. I would love to be open to it again with the right partners. The three of you are amazing together, and I love seeing your polyamorous relationship. Nothing but love. That's a cool comment, mm -hmm. and I like that they're open to it, even if maybe, you know. It didn't work out for yeah, them in the past. totally. You see, so, I mean, polyamory is probably not going to work out the first time. Just like any normal relationship. Totally. Sometimes it won't work out in the beginning. Yeah. You got to try it a couple times until you get it right. Yeah, yeah. You have to keep trying. Even as a triad, we've had partners, and it hasn't worked out. And we keep trying. Okay, so maybe you can um, read the next one. How, how do you balance alone time, the three of you together, as it pertains to intimacy? So, well, I mean, with the kids, we try to have intimacy together. We try to put them <laughs> to sleep in, in like, a couple minutes or hours. <laughs> she needs, like, a couple seconds. <laughs> really? Couple, uh, they use a minute. She didn't want to interrupt until now. For that, for that, she's down. What's the hardest thing being poly, but also easiest? 
The oh, hardest thing. Let her answer. I'm just reading it. <laughs> well, that's it. Go ahead, and answer. The hardest thing about being Polly is having to do everyone's laundry, and nobody helps out, and that's really hard because now we have two more kids. I just did the laundry today, just so you know. <laughs> One funny. basket out of. <laughs> Okay. Years. And the dishes. Or trauma dumping now. The easiest thing, the easiest thing is when everybody goes to the sleep. The does all the laundry. She does, actually. I'm just being silly. You guys go. No, no, no. You go. I was done. I was done. I said, just the hardest is sleeping. That's the hardest. So nothing simple. The easiest is, sl is sleeping. Okay, my response was... The hardest is communication between more than two opinions instead of feelings, as you can see. <laughs> and I put the easiest is loving each other through it all because that is pretty much like the easiest, you know. Um, I think the easiest is when you guys are asleep. <laughs> you can't take mine. <laughs> I like that one. We had a threesome with a girl we met on social media. <gasps> now we're in a polyamory relationship because of the beautiful connection that we felt. We share so many things in common. Me, the wife, is asking for some advice because I come from a Catholic family. My family doesn't know that I'm bisexual and I practice being a swinger and now a polyamorous relationship. I'm having a hard time with that because I know that they won't accept that from me. But I want to be happy and live my life without prejudice. We've been following you for a couple years and we'd like to do a ceremony like yours in the future. We would like any advice that you can give us. Well, I'm Catholic. And my parents hate this, and it's been very tough, and <laughs> I don't know if that could be any positive advice. But, hey, if you want to go do this stuff, just do it. Hey. Hey. It's what not going to be easy. What about you, Jaja? You live with your family, probably not the best thing to do. Uh, just would say, make sure that you're not living with them. You're doing your own thing, and if they don't support you, well, they're, I'm just saying they're going to miss out on a lot of beautiful moments. And um, if they really care about your sexuality, then I, I feel like there's nothing wrong with you. It's just they, they're not there yet to accept you being happy. And that's unfortunate, but it does happen. But uh, it's okay as long as you are in a very loving situation that you want to be a part of whatever you want is all that matters yeah that's true i like that i like that too that's cool well and i put feel it out if it feels safe and supportive then go for it if you feel they'll judge you and or it'll change your relationship maybe wait it out um last one because i think we should end okay. this one with a cool one uh this sounds like a dream how did you know it was the real deal between you three well, when we first met Summer, we were in the bed for about a week without <laughs> leaving. I mean, we go take showers and stuff. We didn't like, even know if it was like day or night. So that's when I Monday. That's when Friday. I figured, you know what? This is this is cool. This is so this from is the real. very beginning. Yeah, cool. really, yeah. It's, you know, it felt really good. It was. Cool. I was really happy. I I yeah. couldn't believe it was happening. I I was very surprised that I'm like because we talked about finding someone like like her. And we did, and it was crazy that she was there. It's the word I would always think about uh, the perfect girl. And I kid you not, we pictured her to the dot without even meeting her. And we said we wanted her to have red hair. Red hair, yeah. We wanted her to be like similar body type like me because um, we thought it was super cute to just possibly just have like almost like similar bodies and very ironically similar. enough yeah. <laughs> summer and i are very similar like half a size just right. different hair color yeah. different hair color it's like we're like the yin and yang like our i don't shoes, even know how to explain everything. it like mm -hmm. yeah. we're like the same but the opposite sure. like we'll drive the same car but i'll turn right and she'll turn left like but how did you know it was for real how did I know if we're, with between all of us? Yeah, I think we couldn't stop thinking about each other. And then there was a little moment in our lives where we weren't with each other for like 
a couple of days, and that's when I was like, whoa. Yeah, it hurt. It hurt real bad. I was like, whoa. Not having summer for a couple of days. And then it was summertime, so it was like, <laughs> so it was like we're driving everywhere, and it was like, summer, 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 and I was like, <gasps> oh, wow. I need her in my life. I don't care. It's happening, and it's just going to oh be God. like that. So totally. <laughs> well, for me, it was when we were driving and you asked me to be your girlfriend. That I was, was like, yep, they both want me to be their girlfriend. All right. This is the beginning of the end as we know it. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you guys. If you guys have any uh, questions, any, any topics that you guys want us to talk about, please comment below. Right? Maybe this bed, maybe our fourth, maybe talk about your relationship and you need some advice we want to be there. polyamory horror stories halloween's <laughs> halloween's coming up if you want to be uh in our show also uh mm -hmm. comment below let us mm -hmm. know yep we would love to have you guys on our show thank Til you till next guys. time thank you guys Woo. Mwah.